Hello students, under the topic Lagrange's Linear Partial Differential Equations, here we have problem 10. The question is solve x is at p plus y is at q is equal to x y. So when we see the question itself, we understand that it is in the Lagrange's form. So let us write the standard form of the Lagrange's equation first. So this is the standard form of the Lagrange's equation. Now we shall compare these two equations. So at the place of capital P, we have x z. So therefore the value of capital P is x z. And while comparing this, the value of Q will be y z. And the value of R is equal to x y. Now we shall write the auxiliary equation. So the auxiliary equation is given by dx by capital P is equal to dy by capital Q is equal to dz by capital R. Now let us substitute each of these P, Q and R in this auxiliary equation. And so we obtain dx by xz is equal to dy by yz is equal to dz by xy. So we have got 1, 2 and 3. Now we shall compare each of these and find the solution. So while comparing 1 and 2, we get dx by xz is equal to dy by yz. So now if you see, we can cancel z on both the sides and we will be having dx by x to be equal to dy by y. Now integrating on both the sides, what is integral dx by x? It is log x is equal to what is integral dy by y it is log y plus a constant which should be log c1 now taking this log y to the left we will be having log x minus log y to be equal to logarithm of c1 now using a rule from logarithm we know that log a minus log b can be written as log a by b so this can be written as logarithm of x by y is equal to logarithm of c1. So therefore the value of c1 will be equal to comparing these two we obtain c1 to be x by y which will give us the first solution u. Therefore the solution u is equal to x by y. Now we shall find the second solution v. So comparing equation 2 and 3 we get dy by y is equal to d z by x y. So let me write that here. So I have written that over here. So dy by y z is equal to dz by x y. Now if we see y can be cancelled on both the sides. And taking this x to the left we will be having x dy is equal to taking the z to the right we will be having z dz. Now right hand side can be easily integrated because it is completely of the variable z only. So z dz. But on the left, we observe that we have x dy. So x is different and y is different. So these two are different variables. So we cannot integrate the left hand side. So in this case, we have to compare the other two equations. But for this problem, if you compare equation 1 and 3, again we will be held up with a similar case of difficulty. In that case, definitely we have to use the method of substitution which we learned in our previous problem as well. So in the same way we have to substitute the value of x over here. How we will do that? For that we have to check out the first solution that we have obtained. We have obtained c1 to be equal to x by y. From this what will be the value of x? x will be equal to c1y. So we have obtained the value of x to be c1y. So we can replace x by c1y. So here we will be having c1y dy is equal to z dz. Now we can easily integrate on both the sides because it is completely of the same variable on both the sides. So if we integrate, this will become c1. What is the integration of y? It is y squared by 2 is equal to z squared by 2 plus another constant c2 which is a new constant. Okay, now uh, from this we can, what is c1? Now we have to replace c1. C1 is x by y. So let me write that. So x by y multiplied with y squared by 2. And bringing this z squared by 2 to the left we get minus z squared by 2 is equal to C2. Now we can cancel one of the y and we will be having xy by 2. Okay xy by 2 minus z squared by 2 is equal to C2. 
Now this uh, this will be x y minus z squared. LCM is two, and when that two goes to the right, it will be two c two. But anyway, two c two is again going to be another constant. So I will generally represent it as the constant c two itself. So x y minus z squared is equal to a constant c two. Therefore, the uh the, that is v will be equal to the second solution is x y minus z squared so we have obtained the second solution v as well now here u is equal to x by y is the first solution and v is equal to x y minus z square is the second solution and therefore the general solution phi of u comma v equal to 0 will be phi of x by y comma x y minus z square is equal to 0 so this is the final solution that we have obtained. So this problem is, uh, is slightly different from the previous problems that we have completed. So kindly go through this problem a little more carefully. So hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.